Today we will show an evolution of some video game joysticks of Nintendo's. Alright, let's start. Well, first off, like the first one that had a joystick was Nintendo 64. Uh, this joystick, it's all right, but uh, but I don't think but I don't think it's good. It's made up. It's shiny plastic, and um, this mechanism it can get really scratched up. And also that being so, the support being so thin that it could just snap. So um, and after that, of course. We have the GameCube, which I which has two joysticks. Both of them are really good. This one's made of rubber, and it's really comfy. I think this is one of the most comfortable controllers of ever. The regular joystick, uh, yet yeah, rubber, super nice. The C st the C stick though, even though being made of plastic. Well, kind of plastic, it's pretty much rubber, most of it, but it's kind of plastic. I like it being small, and I think that actually is good. Now, you see, the Wii didn't really have a joystick, and you have to plug in a nunchuck. And then, the nunchuck, the nunchuck here is basically just an add-on joystick. It's pretty comfortable. It's like the GameCube one, but it doesn't have the ridges. It's 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 good. It's all right, but not as good as the GameCube. Damn it! Since I don't have a Wii U, I'm I'm just gonna be skipping straight over to the Switch. The joysticks here are good, but you know they can drift because of the input thing. It can scratch and then create dust, which you can press on the mechanism, which can just uh, fill, uh, like change your gameplay. I don't like that. The um, um, I've heard that they could have fixed that by doing basically magnetic power, which is what the Dreamcast had, of what I've heard. You can replace them with better ones, but, like, it's like £60 pounds or, some, or something like that for a set of new joysticks. So, I will give my ratings in the next uh, bit. In last place, uh, it's the Nintendo 64. I, it, this is a really good console with a really innovative controller, but the joystick really stinks. Although I've already listed why, and it needs a self, and so it has a pretty much self-explanatory three. Second last place is the Switch. Uh, it has drift issues, like I've said, and it's a lot, and it takes a lot of money to repair it. They're also quite small, and it's the nunchuck joystick because that one, it, it it's all right, but it doesn't. It feels stiff. Maybe it's because I got this off Amazon, brand brand new or something. I don't know if it was brand new, but it feels quite stiff. Even even this other one I got used feels a little less stiff, but still pretty much the same. And first place um, is the GameCube controller. It is really comfy to use, and I wish lots more consoles support it. The Wii does, you can plug it into the top there, but, but like, s some Wii models don't support it, which is just bogus, and you need to buy, like, and you need to buy some dumb adapter for the Switch, it, or Wii U, but I don't have one, to use GameCube controllers.